everybody. Hi. Today we're learning all about Solid. states of matter. matter. What are the three states of I matter? It's solid. Liquid and, and gas. And gas. Like hot air balloon. All right. So, can we think of a solid object? I know. Hmm, what's a solid object? Go ahead and pause the video and find all items that are solid. What's a liquid? Go ahead and pause the video and find all items that are liquids. Water and soil. What's a gas? Uh, Go ahead and pause the video and find all items that are gases. So we're going to go ahead and read a story called Solid, Liquid, and or Gas. gas. Or you guys ready? Yeah. What All is right. that? Look around. What do you see and feel? The what? trees are tall and bushy. The pond is flat and still. The soft wind feels warm on my face. <laughs> and you are making me laugh. All of these things, trees, water, and wind, seem very different from each other. But to scientists, they all have something important in common. They are all made of matter. What is matter? Matter is anything that takes up space. That's just about everything. Scientists sort all matter into three main groups. Solids, liquids, and gases. Solids all have their own shape. What do you see around you? What shapes do they have? A table, a chair, a rock, a and a book. And a big are rock. All solids. And a big rock is too. That is a rock. So are the wood, the metal, and they are made from. Yeah. And it's solid. You can't change the shape of a solid very easily. It always requires some work. So what? Water, juice, oil, and milkshakes are liquids. What shape is a milkshake? Um, if it's uh, in a tall... I, I know, smoothie. It is tall and thin. But if it is in a wide, round cup, it is wide and round. Right. They take the shape of whatever container they are in. Liquids can be poured from one container to another. Some liquids are thick and gooey. They pour slowly. Some liquids are thin and runny. They pour quickly. Yeah, that's water. Can you name a gas? You might think of the gas at the gas stations first. But the gas people put in cars is actually gasoline. Gasoline is a liquid. The gas is liquid. This gas is liquid. The regular gas is not. Most real gases are invisible. Air is gas. You can't see air unless it is polluted and has smoke and other things in it. The bubbles in a glass of soda are gas. This gas is called carbon dioxide and is one of the gases in the air. Helium is a gas that people sometimes use to fill balloons. Helium is lighter than air, so helium filled balloons float. Hey, I thought there were two matters. You can't pour a gas the way you can a liquid. Gas floats all around and spreads out. Can I tell you read this one? Yeah. All matter. Whether it is a solid, a liquid, or a gas, takes up space. It's easy to see that solids and liquids take up space. But do gases take up space? No, of a balloon. You just filled it with gases from your lungs. The balloon, the balloon takes up a lot more space than an empty balloon because of the gas inside it. 
Many things are a combination of solids, liquids, and gases. One of the best examples is you. Part of you is solid. Part of you is liquid. And part of you is... Yes. <gasps> you can glow. So no matter what something looks like, it's made of matter. Look around again. What solids, liquids, and gases you can name. Right, so now that we read our fun story of solids, liquids, and gases, do you want to do a fun experiment? Yeah. Yes? What All right, this? let's go. Solid. The definition. Solid has a fixed shape and fixed volume. Facts. Particles are tightly packed together. Their size and shape remain the same. Examples. Rock can, ball. Non-examples. Milk, water, smoothie. Solids keep their own shape. So if I pour it in a glass, they still are crayons. If I take it outside, are they still crayons? Yes. Did they change the shape? No. No. Liquid. Has a fixed volume, but no fixed shape. Facts. Particles are loosely packed together. It takes the shape of container. Examples. Oil, hand soap, water. Non-examples. Apple, pencil, bed. No. Now let's see if liquid does the same thing. So, what is this? Is this liquid? Juice. Yes. This is juice. If I pour it in a glass, can I have one there? Oh, did the shape change? Look, the shape changed. In this bottle, it looks bigger. But in this glass, it looks a little smaller. If I put the juice in a bowl, it takes the shape of a bowl. If I pour it in a glass, it takes the shape of the glass. Gas. No fixed shape and no fixed volume. Facts. Particles are widely spread out. It takes the shape of container. Examples. Natural gas. Propane gas. Oxygen. Non-examples. Apple. Water. Petroleum oil. There's one more state of matter. What is this? Gas. Get out of your face. Ha! Now it's time to observe the changes in matter. So we all know that there are three states of matter. There's solid, liquid, and gas. Now, if you want to change the state from solid to liquid and gas, you will need to heat the object. If you want to change the state from gas to liquid to solid, you will need to cool the object. Freezing point. Definition. Change in matter from liquid to solid. The freezing point for water is zero degrees Celsius. Examples are ice cream, snowman, ice cube. Non-examples, melting ice cream, melting snowman, melting ice cube. Freezing. Change in matter from liquid to solid. Here are some examples. Glass. If I pour it in an ice, in an ice cube tray, it takes the shape. I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see. Is this solid or liquid? It looks like liquid to me. Is this solid or liquid? Liquid to me. 
So I have a question for you guys. Where can I put this to make it into a solid ice cube? Where should I put this? Should I put this out in the sun? No. Or somewhere in the refrigerator or freezer? Freezer. 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 So we're going to put this in the freezer. Melting point. Definition. Change in matter from solid to liquid. The melting point for water is zero degrees Celsius. Examples. Melting ice cream. A melting snowman. Or melting ice. Non-examples. Milk. Water. Smoothie. Melting. Change in matter from solid to liquid. Here are some examples. Smoke in my house. We're going to take solid and we're going to make it into a liquid. Yeah. <laughs> How can we do that? Oh, I know. No, no. We're going to put it in the pot. What pot? Yep. No, put it in the juice. Uh, I need to know. All right, so we're going to take crayons and we are going to melt it. You guys ready? Yeah. You guys see that? No. Look what's happening to the crayons. Come see. Oh, I saw that chocolate. You guys see it? It's melted. It's melted. Oh, no. And what was crayon? Was it a solid or liquid? Solid. It was solid and we made it into a liquid. Liquid. Look what happened to the crayons. In about a few minutes, this is gonna become solid again. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Look, that. I'll show you. So now. Look, it's solid again. All right, take a piece. See if it works like a crayon again. We took a crayon to turn it into a liquid. It still works. It still Color works. it. Oh, it works. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool, right? Yeah, I never could. Boiling point. Definition. Change in matter from liquid to gas. Facts. The boiling point for water is 100 degrees Celsius. Some examples are hot soup, hot cheese, hot water. Non-examples, ice cube, sundae, banana. Boiling, change in matter from liquid to gas. Here are some examples. All right, it's time for a quiz. Number one, if a box of crayons were left in your car on a summer afternoon, what change will you observe to the crayons? Number two, if you're cooking eggs one morning, what change will you observe to the eggs? Number three, which of the following changes in a puddle of water would a student most likely observe on a cold day with freezing temperatures? Go ahead and write your answers in your notebook. See, it works. Isn't that so fun? Yep. Oh wait, what else can we melt? What? We can melt crayons, but this one has a little stinky smell. Chocolate. Melted chocolate. You could melt the chocolate like candy melts. So remember candy melts? Yeah. You can do that. Oh, or you can also do. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.